This early childhood approach, Karabokon method, was developed by the violinist Madeline Karabokon in 1959. Madeline Karabokon was an American violinist and music educator born in France. She showed talent for playing the violin at an early age and earned a scholarship to Juilliard. She was the first woman violinist in Cleveland Symphony Orchestra. Karabokon developed her general music methods while teaching music classes at Carnegie Hall during the 1950s and she disseminated them through a series of workshops and graduate courses as a guest lecturer at major universities during the 1960s and 1970s. Her sets of materials and practices were designed to create a stimulating environment in which school children can learn music through movement, guided games, and play. She also stressed the use of multiple modes of learning to engage the whole child and strengthen connections in different parts of the brain. This approach involves using props, costumes, and toys for children to learn basic musical concepts of staff, note duration, and the piano keyboard. The concrete environment of the specially planned classroom allows the child to learn the fundamental of music by exploring through touch. The Karabakon method is based on the belief that highly structured subject matter can be introduced to a child if it can be translated into an environment that the child can explore, discover, and assimilate as he did his original environment as an infant. The structured environment includes a piano and large drawings of the brain stuff on the floor, or a large tabletop, and on plastic wall charts. Children are guided to act out certain musical concepts by seeing, touching, hearing, and responding physically through movement. By using this method, children not only attain concepts of self-awareness, directionality, space, and time, but they also begin to acquire a basic sense of ownership as they become their various musical components such as parts of the stuff, note values, musical instruments, or parts of a song. In the Karabokon method, all abstract ideas are translated into concrete objects with which the child is in constant physical contact. The entire program consists of concrete operations. In conclusion, the essence of Karabokon method is acquiring knowledge that involves the child's physical, psychological, and intellectual powers and mirrors the original approach to learning through the early developmental stages. That's all from us. Thank you.